Perfect time to bring in David Barnson, our uh, market uh, uh, commentator this morning. I mean, look, I was just reading your notes, uh, David. You say it's an absolute shame that so much emphasis has to be put on one man's speech at one stupid event. This is not what makes a market. So how do you really think? I, I held back in the notes. I didn't want to be offensive in what I sent to you and the producers. So oh. I kind of whitewashed it a little bit. Uh, it is offensive. <laughs> uh, the, uh, and a market is humans acting freely, making buy and sell decisions in pursuit of a better life, meeting human needs. We know what a free enterprise system looks like. Of course, there's a cost of capital that goes into that. And monetary policy has uh, one input into a very broad economic landscape, but we act as if it's the entire economic landscape. The Fed has been empowered in our economic society to act as if they're a deity, and they're not. They make mistakes. They get some things right. But my point is more for investors. Do we care about the earnings potential of the companies we buy, or do we care about the language of a given speech at a point in time? A speech, I should add, that every man, woman, and child on God's green earth knew what he was going to say today. He did. We can handle 75 basis points, can we not? Well, we've handled it two months in a row, and the market is up 3,000 points. Exactly. So I guess we can, yes. <laughs> <laughs> David, I'm so sorry. We wanted to get to your dividend picks today, but because of all of this news, we're going to have to move on. But I'm so glad we got you in on your thoughts on the Fed. David Barnson, thank you very much. I want to bring